Hey everyone, this is Rusta, and I just wanted to make a little tutorial video for how to do Lightning Adam and Kaled. So before we actually talk about the strat, I want to show you, when you're jumping over this gap is when you want to switch Lightning into the party, make it the leader, and uh, change the second paradigm to Tri Disaster and make it the default paradigm, and make sure she has Diamond Bangle and Shield Talisman, gives her enough HP to survive a single stomp, that's how, how much she needs. But, uh, okay, so now that we're set up, I want to actually talk about the strat a little bit. So. The idea here is that when you swap lightning in, you get a faster uh, light, or you get a faster Adam and Kellogg time, but then the menu after it's not actually slower. So you get a faster fight um, and a pretty similar paradigm setup time. Uh, the only problem is that it is extremely dangerous. Uh, lightning can only survive one attack from Adam and Kellogg, which you have control over because you can jump, but if you mistime your jumps, you'll just die. But if you can time your jumps correctly, it's actually probably a pretty reliable strat. Um, so it's not recommended for people who are, you know, uh, not confident in the ability to execute this strat. So if you want to do it yourself, you can try it out, but it's not going to be in the notes. This is probably the only real reference I'm going to have to it. But uh, yeah, let's get started. So different people have different ways of going about this. The way I like to do it is I just let, I just let Lightning get stomped by the first stomp while queuing up her first string, which is going to be a strike, followed by three spells. And then I time my second, I time my jump to dodge his second, his second stomp. So let's see what that looks like. He stomps. This is the string I like. So now I'm waiting for him to stomp. Um, sometimes it comes really fast. Sometimes it comes really slowly. But I'm going to jump to. A, I'm going to trigger my string to dodge his second stomp. And uh, well, so let's see how long it takes. It's taking a pretty long time. So if Vanille gets to her fifth spell and he still hasn't stomped, I just go because he is going to stomp. There it is. Now, when you see him stomp, you cancel your string. Um, you may be missing out on some chaining here, but the margin for chaining is actually not that small here, so it's okay to miss out on some of Lightning's string. So now, once I am back on the ground, if I take another hit, I will die. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sum use the Summon Immortality to survive his second stomp. Now, the nice thing here is that Vanille and Snow both are alive, so if it takes him a long time to stomp, they will chain him, and it's actually good. So uh, you can trigger the summon pretty much when his uh, foot starts coming back down. He'll dodge his attack and then we'll be ready to keep chaining. So we're waiting. Waiting, waiting, waiting. See, they're chaining like I said. And now. Easy enough. Now, this is the nice thing about this is you survive and you're full health. And now he just did his stomp, so it's going to be a little bit before his next stomp. So the key thing when you're summoned is you don't want to get hit at all. You won't die. However, Odin will stop attacking, which is bad. He'll turn around to try and Kiraga you, and then it's going to be up to you only, and not Odin. So what I like to do is immediately start my next string, repeat, and then I go up, and if he hasn't stomped after two spells, I just cancel and come back down, so I can dodge his next stomp. Like that. That was actually a little bit later than it normally is, because I, I paused and was a little bit slow with my inputs there, but that's the idea. And then you can come back down, wait for his next stomp. So this is actually a really great fight. You have to finish before Quake, but I'm going to show here about how long it takes for Quake to hit. So the the conditions for finishing or for going to Jest All Mold is you want them to be about 315% and uh, have Zantetskin level 3. So the little meter in the bottom right, you want them to be totally filled up and have them at 315%. If you have both those conditions met, you can just Jest, just Alt at any point. Um, but not just ulting isn't necessarily bad. So you can see he's at 445 and I'm at Zantetskin level 3, so I'm way ahead. So if I just ult now, it would be easy enough. But we'll just die to Quake. Oh, I actually got... There it is. So that's about how long it takes for Quake to kick in. So now let's see the fight again without pausing throughout and I can sort of show what's going on. You know, in real time. So, queue up. I like... Thunder, fire, thunder, because thunder hits sooner. That was a really late stomp, but I'm still going to wait for a second one just to show. Vanille finishes her string. He's going back down. Okay, so Vanille died here because his stomps were so late. I'm just going to summon immediately. See if he stomps. There's the stomp. Now we're just going to sit here and wait to dodge his next stomp. Easy enough. So I'm at 328 and my Z my just alt is full, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go into just alt mode now. Now what you're gonna do we in do just alt mode is you're gonna do down 
confirm, and then spam side confirm until he's, until uh, until then. That's, that's it. Down confirm, down confirm, and then Razor Girl with his left right you confirm. So the pretty much minimal situation here is when that you start out at 30 points, and you want to be staggered when it says 12 on the left, and then that'll be that'll be you'll be sure you're gonna kill him at that point. Um, now this is actually a really really good time. Um, this is this is definitely gonna kill him. But the conditions you're looking for for him dying are around 50 HP, 50 percent HP, and around 700 percent. Uh, 700% chain. So I'm not going to actually kill him because I'd have to reload the save and I want to show more fights for this, but let's see one more time. So those, were, those be, this, so far have been really late stomps. I want to show one with really fast stomps because that's more normal. See, this is ridiculously late. It's so late I can just dodge his first one. And you can like improvise stuff like this because lightning is full health. So even if you get stomped, it's not a big deal. Do these late stomps, it's super easy. He still hasn't stomped and come back down. It's just it's just the stomp dodging game. So you can see now, I could I could confirm right now. But there's no point in showing these fights, because these are actually really good and unusual. I wanna show fast stomps. But it's just, you just have to dodge, you just have to play the, the stomp dodging game. There we go. Okay, fast. Now let's see a fast second one. Okay. So I probably should cancel one more, but I'm going to wait for his next stomp. Easy. Okay, so he, his stomp came there, so I didn't cancel the string. Dodge his next stomp. Now let's just see, this is great. He's quaking, but I'm at... Uh, 317 and just a level 3, so. Go next. Now, this is actually one interesting thing. If you can actually do the. Uh, so, down confirm his lightning strike. If you can do that when he puts his head down for Quake, um, you actually. Your, your swinging swords right here will actually do more. They'll hit him in the face, like the physical model, and they'll do more damage, which is slightly nice. So, there's really no way to mess up. As long as you do the actual right inputs, you will not mess this up. So, don't do that. So, as you can see, I'm around 50 from HP, 700. It's actually easy kill. So I'll just show uh, one or two more, and then I'll actually kill him, so you can see. But as you can see, it, you have to adapt to what's happening to make sure you're always dodging his stomps. But if you can dodge, no problem. Stomp him, I'm actually going to go instantly. He's going to divide. Stomp, so I'm canceling the string. So he's just been stopping really fast right now, and I'm I'm one string away. So this is something that Lude also does that I don't do so often. But because he's been stopping so fast, I'm going to instead of just retrying or uh, repeating the string, I'm going to do fire thunder fire thunder, uh, and just not mind getting hit because I'm right there, and I just don't want to bother with the chance of missing him because his head's moving or having to jump. Because I knew the quake was coming. So now I can kill. Now. Yeah, this is what you have to practice: is just understanding when his when his stomps are going to come, how to dodge them as much as possible, and while chaining. Um, the duration is always fine as long as Odin is hitting. That's one of the reasons why you don't want to have Odin doing Kiraga. Uh, if you want, if this is a strat you want to use. It probably saves a few seconds, but more importantly, it's cool as hell. So that's why I do it. Um, and it's it should save a little bit of time if you execute everything correctly. Just don't die. Also good to practice the. Uh, 
the immortality of uh, summoning, which is something that you can use elsewhere in the run. The other thing that's really cool is that Light or Thunder hits instantly. So you can, uh, like, you see there, I, I wanted to show what, like, what I was going for is that um, I, was, I was trying to get a string in before um, actually going to just all mode. And so if you use Thunder, it hits instantly. Where if you use Fire, there's a travel time, and so you might not get the hit if you send a Fire and then go into just all mode. So one more is actually killing this time. But yeah, I was at just all, I was at just all level three and uh, above three fifteen, so I easily would have killed that time. There are some people who like to dodge every step, like Kyrune, but I find that Lightning's animations can make it difficult to do that successfully. Side action before he's dead. Or sorry, side confirm in case your uh, Xbox or PC input user. So yeah, I'm stacking him at 15 there, so this is gonna be an easy kill. And you can usually Zantac early if you get ahead in chain. So let's see. He's. Let's try it. He's around 700 and about half, but he might just barely not be there. Until next time. All right, one more. Run it back. But you see, I had one more. I had one more Razor Gale in there, so I could have done that to guarantee the kill. It's just enough just all points to kill him at 315. So if you know you're if you're way above 315, it's gonna be even easier. You can Zantetsu can really. This, this is the most dangerous fight in my experience, because when he does really fast stomps. Actually, yeah, I'm done. Yeah. So that is that is the one scenario where I'm not 100% sure what to do, but it's very rare, so... Gotta go fast. Say it's rare. <laughs> and then it happens twice in a row. That's Final Fantasy 13 for you. But yeah, the, the way that you would win in that case is to not cancel your first string and just dodge the second step that way. But I find this to be more reliable. This, this looks bad if you're used to uh, the old snow stuff where going off the side is, is bad. Here it's actually good. As you can see, when she swings her little blades around, it actually hits him more times, does more damage and more shame. This is I think this actually be well before 3. I think I'm going to be safe. Well below 50%, around 700%. So it's definitely a high skill sibling strat, but it should be faster on average. Until next time. Yeah, that's all there is to it. Uh, good luck and uh, enjoy your swag.